Number 94. Convert the temperature of scalding water, 54 degrees Celsius, into degrees Fahrenheit and Kelvin. All right, so this is just a straight temperature conversion question. The tricky part is knowing your sig figs. So just know your process of conversions with temperatures. Fahrenheit is all the way at one side, and you could always convert Fahrenheit to Celsius, which can link to Kelvin. So if you always want to go from Fahrenheit to Kelvin, Celsius has to be the middle guy. So it's always F to C to K. So now we have Celsius, so we just got to convert back to Fahrenheit and then just go to Kelvin. So the first thing I'm going to do is Celsius to Fahrenheit. Now, if we're trying to solve for Fahrenheit, I'm just going to use a formula in which I'm equaling to Fahrenheit. So that would be the first one, right? T in F means Fahrenheit temperature. So I'm going to use this first equation to solve for that. So I'm going to just say F Fahrenheit equals 9 over 5 times my Celsius temperature plus um, 32. Okay. Now you guys should know your PEMDAS by now. Just know that this part is always number one, and then you would add second, because multiplication comes first, then addition and subtraction. So let's plug in these answers in now. Fahrenheit equals nine over five times Celsius, which is 54, plus 32. So I'm going to do the first part first, just to show you guys in steps. So Fahrenheit would be equal to 9 divided by 5 times 54, which is 97.2. And then you add 32. So over here, however, just know that this had two sig figs, right? You guys should know your sig figs by now. So this answer should have two sig figs in it. So this 2 technically doesn't exist. So when you add these, you have to add 97 plus 32. So your Fahrenheit would be equal to 97 plus 32, which is 129. And remember your addition sig figs, right? Your addition and subtraction sig fig rules are after the decimal. Since there was nothing after the decimal, it doesn't matter here. Okay, so this first one, this equals 129 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's the first one, 129 degrees Fahrenheit. So box that answer off. That's the answer to the first part. Now we just have to go from Celsius to Kelvin. So which formula are we going to use? The one that says add, well, the one that says Kelvin equals. So this is the formula going back and forth between Kelvin and Celsius. So if we want Kelvin, it would just be your Celsius number plus 273.15. So here we go. We got Kelvin, which is what we want to solve for, 54 plus 273.15. So your Kelvin equals, so 54 plus 273.15 is 327.15, but remember your sig figs. Your rules for addition and subtraction are the least after the decimal. For this one, there was two after the decimal, but for your 54, there was nothing after the decimal. So there should be nothing after the decimal, which means that your answer should be boxed off here. So this, your Kelvin, is equal to 327. That would be your answer for the Kelvin temperature. So that's what goes over here, 327 Kelvin. Box that off. So those are your two different temperatures that equate to, that are equal to 54 degrees Celsius. So it's either going to be 129 degrees Fahrenheit or 327 degrees Kelvin. Guys, I hope this helped a lot. If it did, click the like button. And if you want to know when our next couple of questions are coming out, hit that subscribe button because then you'll be able to do or have, you know, more resources to do well in your exams. And that's pretty cool. Anyway, I hope you guys have an awesome day. I'll see you all in the next question.